What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to theme a lot of the different visual aspects of Android. I'm demonstrating using a Nexus 5 here, but this should work just about the same on any other Android device. This is all made possible by an Expose module from developer SRNAV, so you'll obviously need to be rooted with the Expose framework installed for this to work. The first step is to download the module. Just head to your Exposed Installer app and search Android Theme Engine. Then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab and hit the Download button on the most recent entry. This will automatically launch the installer, so tap Install on this next screen. When it's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module needs to be activated and a reboot is in order. So tap Activate and Reboot here, and Exposed will take care of the rest. Alright, so now that we're back up, I'll show you how the actual theming portion of this works. Just open Android Theme Engine now, and the app will ask for super user privileges, so grant it those. By default, the app is ad supported, and these ads show system-wide by way of a floating sidebar. But the developer has been kind enough to give us options to disable these ads. Just tap the settings icon at the top right, then down towards the bottom, you'll see a list of all the different types of ads it uses. You can just untick these boxes, and the ads will be gone. But this is how the developer funds this project, so consider leaving at least some of the less intrusive ones on. Alright, so let's see some of the theming options. You can tick this box right up top if you want to theme the cell signal icon. So once you tick that, you can use the next entry to select what theme you want to go with. There are visual indicators to give you an idea of how this is going to look, so it's pretty straightforward. Matter of fact, that's how all these items work, so I'll just highlight the rest of them from here out. There's Quick Toggles themes, which can be a bit finicky depending on your device. Next, you can theme the Wi-Fi icon in your status bar. This one works pretty well with both devices I've tried it on. The nav bar theme section doesn't really work for me though. Then, if you head over to the Framework tab, there's themes for the icons in your power menu. It even has support for the extra icons that can be added by the Exposed module Advanced Power Menu. Switch themes will change the way that on-off switches look system-wide, and some of these are pretty slick. Under the Miscellaneous tab, there's a lot of extra goodies. You can show the clock in the status bar when you're on your lock screen. You can also change the color of the clock altogether, or even hide it outright with this setting. There's an option for enabling custom text in your status bar, so let me turn that on. You can then opt to move this text to the left side of the screen, but I'll go with Completely Replace Clock with Custom Text. Give me a second to type something in here. Okay, so now that you have everything set up nicely, you can tap this Refresh button at the top to restart the system UI so that you can see the changes immediately. This is another one that doesn't work well with some versions of Android, so if you don't see your changes take effect immediately, you'll need to perform a reboot. So after a quick reboot, you can see some of the changes I've made to the system UI. I've got a custom Wi-Fi icon, custom signal bars, and even custom text in my status bar. The power menu got some new icons as well here. But for the full breakdown on Android Theme Engine, be sure to check out my article over at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy gadget hacking.